I just got off the phone with Norma from Las Cruces, and she was asking me about how to look stuff up using our, our software. And I want to show you this. This is kind of a little bit crude, but I just put in here, you know, one of the most popular subdivisions in Las Cruces, uh, New Mexico. So if we're going to help build um, some community pages or subdivision pages, this could be, this could be good. So here's the question. So what are the most popular subdivisions? And then here's, you know, hitting the button. This is, again, this is a tool that's not quite ready to go. We're hoping to have it ready in a couple weeks. And it's, it's going to do a little search there. Okay, so here's the answer. And you can see, um, you know, these need to be formatted a little bit differently and stuff. But let's grab Picacho Hills as an example here. And uh, I'm going to go open this search again in a new tab. And uh, I'm going to write in something here. You know, I was going to put in what are the benefits of living in uh, Picacho Hills. And then I thought, well, let's, let's give that a little bit more. So Picacho Hills subdivision in Las Cruces. And you can see I still don't know how to spell cruces. So, um, and then I want to give a little bit more information. And maybe we'll change this so that it'll be an automatic feature. But I want it to write, um, you know, maybe 300 to 400 words about this. Okay. And then I'll hit the search button there. Or whatever that is. And you give it a, you know, 30 seconds or something like that. And then look at all this great information about uh, Picacho Hills. Let's see. It looks like it's 359 words. Was that what it was or was that tokens? Let's see. Tokens. Words is 312. And I, I can't see the, the price on that because of the way I'm recording this, but I'm guessing that's about 20, 25 cents or something. But this helps build a great community page.